you know, I've got four draft age children. So if you're playing recklessly fast and loose with their lives, then I have a right to despise you. So if you're Nikki Haley who's running for president or Ben Shapiro or half the people I see on television casually mentioning the possibility of nuclear war or sending Americans to fight in the Middle East or in any way involving us in a war that has nothing to do with prosperity and peace at home, nothing in other words to do with us, Americans, then I have a right to call you out and be really offended because it's my family. They live here. It's not a joke to me. It's, there's nothing abstract about it. What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from the quartering. I did not have Ben Shapiro versus Tucker Carlson on my Tuesday or Wednesday bingo card, but uh, we're going to start out with that, apparently. Uh, interestingly enough, obviously, Tucker Carlson out there on his own trying to build his own network. Ben Shapiro obviously has the Daily Wire. Many think that they see each other as competition, which may be inflating this. I don't necessarily know. I think that both individuals have takes that I agree with and ones that I disagree with. In, in particular, I, I find Ben Shapiro at, at times to be uh, America second. And um, I understand why he feels that way. Doesn't mean I have to like it. Uh, and I guess Tucker Carlson went on Russell Brand's show and lobbed some absolute uh, grenades over at... Tucker Carlson, or at Ben Shapiro. So then Ben Shapiro responded, called him a liar. Interesting. So conservative commentator Ben Shapiro accused Tucker Carlson of simply lying after the ex-Fox News host said that he despises the Daily Wire co-founder. During an interview with comedian Russell Brand, I have the clip, I'll show you. <clears throat> Carlson said that he had a right to despise Shapiro and former South Carolina governor Nikki Haley for threatening the lives of his four kids by supporting American interventionalism in the Middle East. Let me just say again, I speak for Americans, middle-aged Americans, which is what I am. You know, I've got four draft age children. So if you're playing recklessly fast and loose with their lives, then I have a right to despise you. And I do Carlson noted. So if you're Nikki Haley, who's running for president or Ben Shapiro, or half of the people I see on television casually mentioning the possibility of nuclear war or sending Americans to fight in the Middle East or in any way involving us in a war that has nothing to do with the prosperity and peace at home, nothing, in other words, to do with us Americans, I have the right to call you out and be really offended because it's my family. Now, that is the entire clip. That is not the clip that Ben Shapiro responded to. This is the clip that Ben Shapiro responded to. I think he should have waited for a little more context, and people are obviously taking it to him in the replies. You know, I've got four draft age children, so if you're playing recklessly, fast and loose with their lives, then I have a right to despise you, and I do. So if you're Nikki Haley who's running for president or Ben Shapiro or half the people I see on television casually mentioning the possibility of nuclear war or sending Americans to fight in the Middle East or in any way involving us in a war that has nothing to do with oh, it looks like it actually does have prosperity all okay. and peace at home, nothing in other words to do with us, Americans, then I have a right to call you out and be really offended because it's my family. They live here. It's not a joke to me. It's, there's nothing abstract about it. So Ben Shapiro sees this clip and says, Tucker is simply lying about my positions. I've been calling for a negotiated end to the Ukraine conflict freezing the lines of conflict since early in the war. I have never called for American boots on the ground in Ukraine ever. And I've never called for American boots to defend Israel ever. Mm, yeah. Mm, mm, sure. Fine. Not directly. Not directly. I've invited Tucker to sit down multiple times over the past few weeks to clear the air and discuss our differences. He said he's willing, but his team has told us that he's busy for months because of all of his foreign travel, that offer remains open. Now, in the replies, you see, lol, you're a liar. Ben Shapiro doesn't need to fight wars for Israel. Israel can take care of herself. That's what he says. 
After you told everyone to take the jab, I never listened to a word you say you said ever since. I mean, you know, for someone who cares only about America, Tucker sure is overseas a lot. Well, I mean, he's doing his job. I, I don't know about that. You know, um, what's interesting is, you know, maybe they can rap battle this out. You know, I, I don't think there's a lot of value in these two getting into a slap fight, something that I have unfortunately spent my time doing with other creators in the past, something that I, de I definitely don't think was productive. Um, and I do think that generally Tucker Carlson and Ben Shapiro will probably agree. Um, but there are things, you know, <laughs> that people are pointing out here. Uh, I also saw essentially Dave Rubin stick his baby buying nose into it and kind of assert. I don't know. I guess it's a, it's a, it's a, I don't know if I want to go all that all the way. I'm not going to say what I think he's asserting, um, but I'll show you the clip and you tell me what you think um, Dave Rubin might be insinuating because Dave Rubin asked uh, Ben Shapiro. But here is Tucker going after uh, Ben Shapiro. This is just a couple days ago. Right, right. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Cut that is go. just a seriously low IQ take and, and really low hanging fruit and dishonest by Tucker. So Tucker, if you're watching this, and maybe I'll send you this video myself, I'll text it to you. I don't think you're uh, in you, the same stratosphere. You gotta stratosphere. do a little bit better than that. The idea- So Ruben calls, calls him low <laughs> IQ. He's inserting himself. Um, that's not the video I was actually looking for. Um, I, the video I was looking for was where, at least in my opinion, Dave Rubin has Shapiro on there and he asks him and he kind of insinuates, I think, I, he kind of insinuates that there might be some, I don't know. Okay, here it is. I, I want to ask you one other thing related to this since I brought up Tucker a couple of times. He, he's been somewhat critical of you. I actually think kind of unfairly and I, I defended you on my show a couple of weeks ago, basically saying, this is not a great look for Dave Baby Bayer Rubin. That you were, you were too overly emotive about Israel uh, and what was going on there. And I think there's some subtle overtones uh, with, that come with that. What is he insinuating? I think it's my opinion. Okay, let me just play that back right there. Uh, with you were, you were too overly emotive about Israel uh, and what was going on there. And I think there's some subtle overtones uh, with, that come with that. Do you think that he's calling Tucker Carlson like anti-Semitic? I don't know. That's what it seems like to me. He's kind of walking down that line a little bit saying, oh yeah, there's subtle overtones. What overtones? I think Tucker Carlson's criticism has always been that, you know, there are a lot of conservatives, not just Ben Shapiro, but also Nikki Haley. And you could even say uh, half of the freaking Republicans that vote to keep sending money to Ukraine, all right, who are not America first. Tucker, Car Tucker Carlson is clearly America first. I am America first. Okay. There are so many problems already here in America that need help, that need attention. Uh, you know, we don't need to be sending more money or troops. Now, did Ben Shapiro ever specifically say he wanted boots on the ground? Not that I've ever seen. I spent some time looking around trying to find clips. Now you could argue, and I think it, in good faith say that, well, I mean, essentially, right, the United States has troops all over the Middle East, by the way, uh, protecting Israel, okay, lots, all right, on all various borders, keeping everybody in line to protect Israel, okay, so let's not pretend that there aren't troops in Syria, there aren't troops on various borders over there, okay, um, you know, I think, you know, I don't know, you see, this is a pretty snappy comeback, we need pro-American response that is toned down from all the support for our nation's enemy. Got to be balanced approach. Ben, he's coming for your audience. He will never have a direct conversation with you. I disagree with that. I, dis I completely disagree with that. So, you know, I think that Ben, obviously, 
I believe is Israel first, and that's you know for obvious reasons. And uh, there are people that don't like that. They say that I want America to fight wars for Israel. Nope, nope. First of all, Israel can take care of herself. If Israel is forced to the wall, the possibility of nuclear exchange is extremely high. That is why it is very important that the United States provide the material aid to Israel. That probably is going to get me claimed. But there you go. I mean, he has the idea that Ben Shapiro has not tossed around terminology like nuclear war is a lie. You know what I mean? He has. There, it's, this is what happens when you have a career online. People, you know, people, uh, it's all out there for people to find. And I'm sure he has, you know, I, that doesn't discount the thing he said. You know, maybe he's right. But I think what Tucker is saying is, you know, hey, we should all just basically be saying absolutely not. You know, you see, I like people like Ben Shapiro to explain to us why we're fans of the Kennedys, what they mean, this kind of stuff. Ben Shapiro spoke at length. Oh, it's a Kennedy stuff. Um, it, you know, this is going to spark some sort of, well, I wonder who blocked me here. I guess I don't know who this is. Um, you know, I hope they work it out because it's not entirely honest for you to reframe what happened there. Tucker was, quote, attacked first multiple times at the end of last year, and he wasn't the only road. The high road is simply saying, sorry, not reframing, not to frame what happened. Ruben has selective memory. So this battle's been going on for a while. Candace Owen says he has recently started treating the public like they are stupid, in my view. The I'm friends with everyone shtick to establish moral authority, followed by a spin on what happened. I would gladly invite Dave on my show to discuss this, though. No beef, just how I see it. So you get Candace Owens. You know, Candace Owens is kind of fun uh, <laughs> to have. Um, you know, it's kind of fun to have at Daily Wire because she does, she kind of, you know, I think she's a grifter still, but she at least will go against the grain and I'll give her that credit. You know, absolutely. I think, you know, you see here, the disaffected liberals need to know the home isn't on fire. I, for one, would love to see Tucker and Ben Shapiro work it out. Yeah, I bet you would on your show so you could buy more babies. Yep, Ruben F. Selected Memory in this case. Again, you know, this is a very interesting backstage tonight. I will not be there, so they didn't talk about it. It's going to be interesting to see. I think, you know, if it's for me, the people that I respect, you know, I listen to a lot of people's opinions, right? But the opinions of the you know people that I respect are people that are saying America first, no more money for Ukraine, no money for Israel, no troops on the ground in the Middle East at all. Let them bomb each other back to the Stone Age. I don't care. Does that make me evil? I don't know. Also, don't care. I don't want endless wars. I don't want to give these uh, sand people reasons to cross our southern border that are wide open and and then explode themselves in a you know. In a, in a mall or something like that. This stuff wouldn't happen if we weren't meddling over there, and I firmly believe that. I think that Ben Shapiro does support military aid and foreign interventionalism, in, at least in particular when it comes to Israel. Um, and that's, you know, a fair, and I think Tucker Carlson fairly criticized that. It'll be interesting to watch all these multimillionaires duke it out. I think it's good for a guy like me to talk about. It's probably good entertaining for you. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below, who's in the right, who's in the wrong. And we're going to be discussing this. Um, if you made it to the end of the video, come on over to my uh, Rumble stream at 1 Eastern. We'll be discussing this at length and uh, obviously all of, the other, all of today's other news too. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like on it. If you haven't yet, please subscribe down below and we'll talk to you again real soon.